What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. And as you guys can see, we have a lineup update. We went ahead and completed all of the collections. And so I just want to show you guys, as you get there, pretty much uh, how I've set up my lineup. Uh, we're going to start with Jim Edmonds and left. I tell you, though, uh, I'm probably going to end up moving uh, Mike Trout back into this lineup in left field just because he's such a beast, and especially when he's playing up. We have Jim Edmonds in left for now. Willie Mays, man, unbelievable card. Honestly, one of the best cards we've ever seen in Diamond Dynasty. 114, 117, 106, 118, 116, 116, 118. 98 fielding with all that speed. He gets to everything out in the outfield. Unbelievable speed. 92 speed. Unbelievable, unbelievable card. Definitely worthy of being the entire collection uh, complete reward. Unbelievable card. Uh, with my level 100 reward, I selected Tony Gwynn. Uh, I really played a lot of Battle Royale. Got to try out a lot of those cards. And I really liked Gwynn the best. I just liked his contact and his vision. He has a huge PCI for these tough games on Legend. Uh, he's a, obviously a great fielder in right field. He'll, he might eventually move to uh, left field because I think at level 40 in the silver part of the program, you can select another player. And I actually am going to select uh, Ichiro most likely to put out in left field. So my outfield is just going to be – or I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to put Ichiro in right field and I'll probably put this Tony Wynn in left field. And my defense will just be ridiculous in the outfield. It's just going to be so hard to hit it in the air and get it over our head or get it in the gap. It's almost like you're going to have to hit it over the wall or – you're going to have to hit it on the ground for a base hit. So that's where we're going to go with that. Joey Bats at first base as a secondary of first base. Unbelievable card. If you guys remember like the Brad Miller card, if you used him in events, he kind of has that leg kick. So does Joey Bats. Always a threat to take it deep. Really good card. Has great arm strength. He's going to be our first baseman for right now. Then we have Rogers Hornsby at second base. 125, 125, 94, 99. Can play at third and can play at shortstop. He has uh, 81 speed, which is very helpful. Just he's pretty quick. He do, he's not the best fielder in the world, though. But at least he has a silver to kind of uh, get it done. I'm not sure how long I'll have him as other cards come out. I could always make another uh, cap and put him at second base if there's a great shortstop that comes out. Eddie Matthews is taking over at third base, 86, 84, 94, 109 uh, power versus left, uh, 53 speed. I'm not too great with Eddie, and uh, I don't know. I might be looking at Brooks Robinson with my next uh, level 100 uh, just because he'd be so good defensively and we'd be really good uh, defensively with him there. Um, so I, I might get Brooks. I also might get Frank Thomas and move uh, Batista over to third base. So that's just kind of something I'm thinking about uh, right now. And a card I've wanted for years. It's so awesome that he's in the game. 110, 119, 84, 85. This is probably uh, some of my favorite BR cards. 96, 99 fielding, 72 speed. He is an all-year catcher for me. Honestly, this is exactly what I look for in a catcher. Is I really like. I had Piazza last year in, in uh, 2018, uh, but I ended up liking the Yogi Berra Mortal more just because he had really good defense on a left-handed bat, and that's kind of what Pudge reminds me of. <clears throat> Except he's got better speed, better defense. He's got enough power. It's just a really, really, really good catcher. On the bench, we are going to have. Uh, like I said, I might take Jim Edmonds out and put a Trout in. Uh, I also have Lofton. If you guys haven't completed the Indians collection, consider it. It's a really good collection to complete because you'll get Ramirez, Lindor, Kluber, Lofton. It's just a really good collection to complete. Uh, if you're thinking about getting a collection, look at uh, Jose Ramirez, a nice switch hitter off the bench. Huge plus 11 today <clears throat> to power versus left. He had a power versus right where he's up in the 90s and 91 vision. He's not that great of a defender. He's fast. He's like just like a really good pinch hitter to have off your bench. What more needs to be said about Mike Trout? The GOAT Mike Trout, 91, 92, 95, 73. So now he's even playing up versus left, which is really probably more of what you want, honestly. So he's more of a balanced hitter overall. A great fielder, great speed. Just a, He's the GOAT, man. It's Mike Trout. 
Bryce Harper, the ideal, especially with his plus 11 to both sides, the ideal pinch hitter versus a right-handed pitcher in ranked seasons. Uh, always an absolute beast. Not that great of a fielder, but he's just an excellent, excellent pinch hitter. And then Mookie Betts can kind of play all over the diamond defensively for us, has great quirks, and uh, <clears throat> just another great player, one of my favorite players in the entire MLB. So that's pretty much our bench. Now let's take a look at our pitching staff. With my level 75, I took Clayton Kershaw. I highly recommend you guys take this Clayton Kershaw. Best pitcher in the game. Uh, might be the best pitcher in the game throughout the entire year. Totally worth it for you guys to take. I get that question a lot during the stream, so I would recommend that you guys take him. I'm still bringing out Max Scherzer. I like Max Scherzer's control this year. I just like feel like I can really hit spots with him uh, really well, so I'm a big fan of Max. Same with Oral Hershiser. Uh, he's a really uh, good pitcher. Hits his spots. Has multiple. Has like four pitches you can use. Um, he doesn't have the best. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, it feels like a lot of people foul pitches off when you're using him um, for whatever reason. So you not might not get a lot of strikeouts. But you also uh, he's just so easy to control. It's it, you're not going to be leaving the ball in the middle of the plate, which is the key to pitching. Chris Sale, always like using Chris Sale, uh, just like his motion. I like his slider, and uh, he's got that kind of a funky delivery. He can be really, really tough to pick up. And then we're putting in Vita Blue. Uh, Vita has a lot of gas. He's got a pretty good motion as well. Used to use this card all the time in MLB, the show 17. I'll, get, I'll show you guys a couple other of my pitchers. I had to quick sell some of my diamond pitchers to uh, finish off the collections. I had to sell some of my – I just quick sold – Ones that are most likely, more than not, never play up on my team. But we do have Mike Scott. I just haven't used Mike Scott that much in the past, so I haven't busted him out yet. Splitter, four seam, slurve, and a curveball, or a slider and a curveball, excuse me. He's an, uh, an excellent pitcher to use. I might give him a shot uh, over Vida. Uh, I have Jacob DeGrom now. I just haven't uh, really uh, used him yet, but I might at some point, especially if he's like playing up on a certain day. Uh, Warren Spawn, probably going to pass on Warren Spawn. Really haven't used him too much in the past. Don't plan on using him. I always have liked this Cole Hamels card. Good uh, control. I just think Vida is better. And I really don't like using Syndergaard too much because I just feel like I can't hit my spots. But there's uh, Syndergaard for you. And then the bullpen, Josh Hader. One of my favorite cards to use in this game. I just feel like his control is so on point for me for whatever reason. I like his motion a lot. And he really has the two pitches that I like to use in the four-seam fastball and the slider. Uh, highly, highly recommend this card. Um, I, I really like using Josh Hader, especially from the pitcher offset view. Troy Percival has been pretty good, honestly. Um, he's got a little bit of a funky motion. It's just like I don't think a lot of people have really seen him over the years because he just came into the game last year. So I think he's a pretty good card uh, to use. I, I, I've been liking what I've seen on him. This Rob Nin is an absolute beast. So easy to hit the line and hit the hoop with him. Throws absolute gas. Really hard to uh, hit off of him. And uh, when you have the splitter, it's like you basically have a better changeup. So, absolute beast in Rob Nin. Andrew Miller, one of my favorite pitchers to use, one of my favorite motions to use. The slider's just incredible. One of the best left handed pitchers in the game. Always fun to have him. Now, Diaz playing up, really good card as well. I was surprised at how good he is. But that 99 break makes his slider absolutely ridiculous. This is a really good card to have. As you guys can see, I don't have Fernando Rodney. I'm getting rid of him uh, just to get some extra subs back because I pretty much I have too many diamonds that it's like I don't want to have cards out there that like I sold my Joe Torre. I'm selling my uh, Rodney just so I can start to get more gear for my cap. And I'll show you guys how my cap uh, gear has changed. I might have had some things go, go through, so I might make a cut in this video. But Kenley Jansen, he's always going to back end it for me. I just have had so much success with him throughout the years. Uh, one thing that's interesting about Kenley Jansen is that four-seam fastball does have some break to it. I know he doesn't have a sinker this year, but that four-seam fastball almost acts like a two-seam fastball. It feels like it has like a little bit of a break. And like the cutter, you can always throw low and inside to a righty. The slider is always good. So I, I love having Kinley Jansen. So there's my squad. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here at uh, my creative players gear. I want to see real quick in the community market if a couple of my orders went through. Because 
I think he's going to be a little bit better. Um, neither of – actually, one of them did, but not the other one. So let's go ahead to the cap here, and I'm going to go to my creative player, and I'm going to go to my equipment. And so I'm going to show you guys how I've been doing the equipment. So I got these batting gloves, uh, these Evo XGTs, because they have plus 11 to plate vision. You guys know how big on plate vision I am. So I'm trying to get that up for him. Uh, I use the Griffey cleats uh, because I like having plus 13 speed. I, I like the way that they look. So I've always been, a, I've pretty much gotten these cleats like the last three years. Um, they're good cleats. Uh, they're not the most expensive. Uh, they're like one tick under 14 speed. I think there's some 14 speed cleats out there, but I really like those. I don't wear any catchers here because I don't catch. Uh, I just use this one because plus two to discipline and durability, it doesn't really affect anything, and I like Nike gear, so I use that one. Same with this, with this uh, leg piece. I just caught a gold a while back, plus three to uh, uh, batting clutch and durability. Really doesn't affect his stats one way or the other, so it's not a, a thing that matters. Same with the armband. I actually don't even have one equipped. I guess I'll, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll equip one to get a little bit better uh of that so I'll, I'll equip uh i'll equip this plus three one for right now uh <clears throat> those stats just really don't matter so it's just not even important if you have one or not i uh, use the gold arm i'd like to upgrade to the max one at some point but it's pretty expensive compared to the gold one for plus two to arm strength when everyone throws pretty hard in this game and he already has like a ton of arm strength so um <clears throat> just kind of sticking with the plus five now this thing's actually pretty nice. It just gets super expensive past the gold to the diamond one. So I'm just going with like the plus two, plus two, plus three, plus three. Uh, contact power and play vision, all are the sets that matter. Batting clutch, not as much. Uh, these gold glasses, I just actually got the diamond version, and so those are going to be nice. I'll be able to sell those. But plus five to plate vision, I really want more reaction, a little, um, a tad more fielding. Uh, a tad more accuracy, a tad more discipline. But I really, I wanted these glasses just for the plate vision. That's going to be a nice boost. I sold the gold socks. Uh, I'd like to get the diamond socks at some point. Again, they're just really expensive. And let me show you guys the bat um, I'm trying to buy. I might just go buy it out of the market for the sake of this video uh, so that I can show you guys the bat that I want to get. And uh, it, the bat that I want to get, again, what I'm doing with my cap is uh, because I made the power one, I'm finding out that I'd like to have just him be a little bit more balanced. And since I can't remake him, um, what I'm doing is basically I'm getting him there by getting him equipment. Um, I'm getting equipment for him that will make him more balanced. That'll give him more contact. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, I think it is... And the this equipment is actually pretty cheap by comparison, so I think that's my 7501. I'll just go ahead and buy this for 10, and uh, we'll put that on there. But you can see his plus four to power and plus 10 to contact. Uh, his uh, plate vision is going to be a lot higher uh, now. And uh, I'm going to hop into. Uh, let me go and uh, show you guys what his stats are going to look like now. He's going to be way more balanced. He's going to have a ton of contact. And he should be starting to get like a bunch more plate vision. So if I go into, if you ever want to see what your cap's going to look like, I believe you can do this. So basically, if you want to take a look at your cap, I just want to hit and put in some different pictures so I don't get a loss because I'm going to quit this game. The best way to do it is just go into a game versus the computer, start it up. And then once you start it up, I'll show you guys what to do. Make sure that you're home too so that your guys are in the field because you can only adjust certain things when you're at bat. So now when you hit the start and go to manager, you can go to substitutions, then go over to your creative player. And now he's getting a lot more balanced. 87, 84, 199 power, 82 fielding, 96 arm strength, 82 speed. So he's pretty fast and his vision's really getting up there and he's getting more balanced. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's pretty much my team right now, guys. I'm going to get into the first gameplay uh, with them. And uh, I hope it's going to be a really good gameplay for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I got more videos to make. My bad, I couldn't really stream, guys. Like, my voice was absolutely killing me because I'd done, like, 
usually when I stream, I stream for like five to six hours at night. And like just over time, like my voice was just absolutely killing me. And part of it from yelling at BR and part of it from just, I don't know, man. I, my voice was just gone. It's starting to feel a little bit better. But like, you know, I can like definitely talk over like a video. But for like this a long stream, it was just going to take a lot out of my voice. So I'm going to try to rest my voice the best I can. I'm going to try to be back streaming tomorrow. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.